Welcome to Parallels Remote Application Server Installation videos. Today we'll be covering RAS reporting installation configuration. Before we do the installation, it's very important from an environment perspective. You have a RAS reporting view user account, either in AD or local, a server that will be installing SQL Server, and for proof of concept, you can use one of the RAS publishing agent servers, and use SQL Server with advanced features, not the regular SQL Server Express. If you have SQL Server Enterprise or Data Center Edition, those features are included. On the SQL side, the features are database engine services, reporting services, native management tools. The SQL instance name has to be RAS Reporting and make sure the system administrator and system user are the administrators for SQL Server. If you don't have that, we'll cover that, the, that step in the installation. And the reporting engine, the flow is very simple. We'll be installing SQL Server, then SQL Reporting, install RAS Reporting, and then the console. So let's get started. And before we run the install, I have SQL Server Express Advanced 14 here and also the RAS report. The installation is fairly simple, but it takes a while to be done. So first thing we'll do is we're going to open the installer for SQL Server, and then we will extract the files. I will choose, for example, the temp folder, and then later on I can just delete it. Okay, we'll use the installer option. Accept the license agreement. Use the Microsoft update to check for updates. And we'll rerun the pre-requirements. We use the database engine services, reporting services, and I'll keep other options, but we do not need SDK, documentation components, and the client toolbox. Click Next. The .NET install will fail, so we can go to or come to Service Manager and install this particular role. Tools, add and remove features. And enable .NET Framework 3.5. And click on Install.
installation succeeded. We go back to the SQL installer, rerun, and we'll change this name to RAS Reporting. We'll keep the same service account settings, use Windows authentication mode, and add domain admins coming from Active Directory and RAS reporting view. If you don't have this user created following the KB article that we have, it has to be created before you run the installation. So it's even better, it's in the SQL Server administration as well. We do the install and configure option. And now SQL Server will be installed and deployed in this server. This will take several minutes to be completed. And now the SQL Server installation is completed. We can click on Close, Close SQL Server Installer, and change the setting in SQL Server Reporting to use a different port than port 80, because that would conflict with the gateway and all other services. We change the web service URL to port 8085. And we apply the settings. It was changed to 8085 and we can exit. And before we install the reporting, Let's make sure the system user has access to the databases. So let's go to SQL Server Management Studio. And the reason I'm showing this is because it's a very common mis mistake. We go to Security, Logins. We go to NT Authority System, Server Roles, and we make sure this user now is a sysadmin. We click OK, exit the console, Let's open command prompt as administrator at this point. We go to users. Desktop. And then run the reporting tool, installer. Next. We accept the license agreement and install. The installation is now completed, and the last step is set up that inside the remote application server. So we go to Parallels, Remote Application Server. Administration, Reporting. We enable, we can put the server we are, or local host in this case. RAS reporting view with the credentials that we already pre-configured. We click on test connection. It's validating against Active Directory. It was validated, and we click on Apply. From this point on, reporting now will be collecting the information. 
So we will see all of the lists, but we need to wait a couple of days to have data in. Thank you so much for accessing this video, and if you have more questions, please don't hesitate to contact Parallel.